Right, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Daily Grey. Here we are. Here we are. Now this vlog will almost definitely go across two days um, because you very likely won't see me training today because I've got a webinar on. Bugs on me. <laughs> Bug off! Right, it's a little spider a creature. Um, yeah, I've got a webinar today so you almost definitely won't see me doing any training today which means it's going to be a boring vlog. Um, because two, two, three hours of my day is going to be spent on camera to my academy, guys. Uh, so yeah, it's not me a lot to show. Doing a, doing a webinar on uh, heel work masterclass. So Flackabout is going to get plenty of training today, which is good. And it's a nice day. Nice weather for it. Also, yesterday, this happened. <sighs> we had seven and a half tons of concrete delivered. We now have a single level garage floor. Needs leveling still, obviously, but it's at least all on one level now, which is which is something beautiful. Just got back from Iron Horse Equine. Uh, need you. Need you. Uh, I just went to get some shavings for the kennels because uh, obviously in this weather it's a bit warm for the dogs. Um, Khaleesi can't be in the kennel still, obviously, because she's still on rest. Although we are seeing improvements, albeit extremely, extremely slow improvements. Um, but it's just it's just painfully too warm for Flack to be in the house, in the office, in the van, in the anywhere. He doesn't like it. He likes to be in his nice, cool kennel, in peace, away from the world. I'm going to go and sleep now, actually. So, yeah, I just bought... Ah, oh, shit. If I leave that open, no damn well, I'll forget about it. No, you can't see it. Sunroof's open on the car. However, it's got this awesome feature. See the sunroof? Open sunroof. It's got this really cool feature. I think I've got to be stood at the other side, actually. If you hold the lock button, point it at this little, little square on the door handle. It closes it. Look at that, how cool is that? It's also filthy. Just from being sitting around, van's the same. Uh, Misha's car was the same, but she cleaned it the other day. I haven't cleaned mine because at this point, it's just gonna get parked back up and be filthy again. All right, flat car. Let's see how Sir Buffington is this morning. This very, very sunny morning. Gorgeous. Gorgeous weather. So yeah, webinar, heel work masterclass webinar, members only. Um, hey Flaggy. You're coming out soon, bro. Hey Flaggy. <laughs> I'll get you soon. It's too warm for you at the moment. I'll get you when the webinar starts. Um, so what I'm gonna do, yeah, members only. Uh, if you're not a member, you can't watch it. Go and join. Link's pinned in the... No, link's pinned. Spent too much time on Facebook Live. Link is in the description of this video. Um, if you are a member, uh, just click on webinars on the website and it'll be there at two o'clock live. Well, it won't, it won't be live by the time you see this. Uh, so the repeat will be up. But I'm going to do uh, half it on theory and we're going to have a break. I'm going to grab flat bar out and uh, we'll do the practical stuff. Should be good. The observant among you will have noticed I've just changed my t-shirt again as well. Um, and it's just because I realised doing a webinar and suddenly a black t-shirt was not the best idea. So my plan, my initial plan was to go and put a, see my initial plan was to go and put a white t-shirt on. None of them are clean. However, 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 um, my new clothing will arrive in the near future, I hope. Um, so basically the t-shirts are just gonna have the new logo across the front and across the back. Uh, and the new hoodies are just gonna have my name on the front. And, um, the logo across the back so just super plain i've ordered uh, a gray hoodie a black hoodie a navy hoodie as normal and i've ordered four white t-shirts four black t-shirts four gray t-shirts so that should mean i can can spend some more time in t-shirts because i have a shortage of t-shirts i'm not really a clothes guy as i'm sure 
many of you have already realised by the fact that I have the same 10 t-shirts that I wear and eight of them are all the same but in different colours. Um, I also trashed my favourite t-shirt yesterday, so that's not good. But here we are in my plain khaki green t-shirt. I might even, I might even push the boat out, you know, and get some coloured t-shirts. But for right now, stick to what we know. Let's stick to the Sheldon colours. Everything has to be the same. Everything has to be as it should be. Um, I'm very much like that as a person. I don't know how many of you are watching now, but I love routine. I love things to be just as they are. Um, people find it very weird, but... As always on Daily Grey, I'm not here to hide shit. I'm just here to chat. Share my life with you, my real life. My real life is that I like routine. So, now I'm going to get ready for this webinar. God, the day's flying. Just come one o'clock already. Webinar at two. Jeebus, Jeebus. Busy, busy. Oh, all right, always trying to improve things, always trying to make things better. So that's the masterclass over with. I just want to show you some updates that I've got on, on the facility. Um, little things, nothing major, nothing massive. The masterclass was really good. It was two hours long, heel work masterclass. Uh, Academy members, you can go and watch it under the masterclass link on the website. Um, it was just a page called masterclass or masterclasses or something like that. Uh, it was called webinars, but webinars are a bit gay, innit? Don't really like the word. So it's now called masterclass. So every Friday we have another one. This week's was on heel work. Mastermind journal on Monday. Um, yeah, all good. Two hours, loads of practical work, loads of theory work. Everyone's happy. So updates, updates, updates. The first update is I've just ordered a load of weed killer. Kill that. The second update is I've just ordered some gloves because I'm, what I'm going to do is go around. You see all these big weeds, the big ones. Basically, the yard's too big to weed kill. Um, cost fortune. We bought some industrial weed killer. Fuck all. So I'm just going to go and pull all the big ones, um, pull what I can pull, and then spray whatever's left, hopefully. Uh, update three, I've got a lock. You see that side gate next to the BM? Behind that, there's another gate. I've got a lock on that, so delivery drivers can't come in, and I've just locked the main gates with a combination padlock. Um, so if anybody who's here regularly, obviously when we're not in lockdown, needs a combination, just take me up and send you it. Uh, the other update, the garage is now one level. And we're going to put, a f so basically once that's finished, well, no, not once it's finished, anytime now, we're going to put a fence from here, all the way along here, like a four foot fence, and then just back to the garage door, just so, so it's sort of enclosed when the door's open, because obviously, especially in summer, I want to have that door open, get some sun, sun in my life, so it's nice to be able to have that option, in winter it'll be used a lot less, but in summer it'll be nice. Uh, it means the dogs have got somewhere to sunbathe, somewhere to poo, somewhere to pee for in there for a long amount of time. Because uh, obviously with a place that big, I want to have my dogs in there with me all the time. Whereas days like today, I can't have flack with me because it's too fucking hot. And I can't have Glacier with me because he's on rest. And I can't leave that door open. Why is my Mercedes door open? Um, oh, fuck. I can't have Glacier with me because she's on rest. If I leave that door open, she'll go poddling because she hasn't been able to puddle. So, unfortunately... Khaleesi's is stuck in the house, Flack's stuck in the kennel. But he's just had a really good session where we did that heel work masterclass and it was far too hot, so I'm not going to bother getting him out. Not for a while at least. Right, I'm going to jump on Facebook Live. Um, I've done my daily email. If you're not subscribed to my email list, what are you doing? What are you playing at? Uh, go and do it. Get subscribed. Uh, you can join on the website under the page that says the eight biggest mistakes of dog training, or if you're watching this at a much later date, i.e. you're on the new website, which is going to be out in a few weeks as of time of release, um, then... I think it's at the bottom of any page. So let's plug the phone in. <sighs> plug the phone in. Bog off. Plug the phone in. I'm gonna go get a drink and then good to go, Facebook Live. Busy day again, always busy. Uh, Facebook Live done. Whining Winnie's banned from the Academy. Also guys, just to clarify that, uh, you should go and watch that live. So it's live on the 24th of April. Uh, go and watch it, it's funny. Basically, someone fucking crying at me, so I kicked them from the academy. And I'm always happy to do that. If people are disrupting the peace of my academy, if people are disrupting the flow of my academy, how it feels, how the vibe is, I'll just fucking kick them out. I'm easy. And then they're like, I'm paying you. You can't do this. I'm like, you're not paying me anymore. You're not paying me anything ever again. I'll never work with you in person. I'll never work with you on Skype. Why are you covered in shavings, bro? I'll never work with you in any capacity at all for the rest of your days. Hey, brother. Hey, brother. 
Oh, it's a super popper. Um, so yeah, kicked some out of the academy today. I don't have to kick that many people out, to be honest, but there's always there's always someone that wants to see whiny and annoying. So what I'm going to do now is train this big boy, the big fella. Here he is, covered in shavings. God knows what. You've been laying on the concrete floor, bro. We've got a bed in there. Um, yes, yeah, so we'll get him trained. Gonna do some front here, so you're not gonna be able to see a lot. Um, I'm doing some um, corner work with him, which is fairly new to us. So I'm just, I'm just trying it, see how it goes, see what it produces before I roll it out to the academy as an instructional educational video. So let's do that. Gonna do before we do anything is put a glove on because I'm sick of having wrinkly fingers because he's that slobbery. Right, bro. Oh, my food's in the wrong pocket, my man. Let's get all this food over. I'm inevitably gonna drop some. And there it goes. And you're gonna eat it, aren't you? Because you're a little food monster. A big food monster. Big walrus, little one there, mate. My shoelace is coming out. I'm not going to record a great deal of this, guys, because it's just not that exciting, but we're just working on this corner stuff. It's going to be a long, old process. We'll get there. We'll get there. disgusting animal. Let's have a straight head please. Good. Super. Super boy. Sorry, I'm just reading comments and questions as well. Voila, un siume. Rapine.
Get your slip in. Right, I'm not going to film any more of that because it's very boring to watch, but that's what we're doing. Just going to tidy the office. It's a bit chaotic. <laughs> Hi, bro. Hi, bro. Hi, bro. Flack has this really cool trick. Let me show you. It's not really a cool trick, but it makes me laugh. So if I put my arm out like this, it comes and perches on it like a parrot. Not like a parrot. If you jumped to me like a parrot, I'd fucking hit the deck. Flack. Watch. Flacky. <laughs> Every time. Without fail. You're a good boy. Yeah, I need to get this office tied up because it's an absolute shit tip. Just stuff lying around. Bare fresheners and empty drinks and shit. It's been busy. So let's get that sorted. Sometimes you just got to enjoy your evening. Sat with these guys. Blossoms over there. And as you can see by how lit up I am, we have got a banging sunset going on. Let me show you. Look at that. What a sunset. What an evening. Beautiful. Beautiful, William. You're still very nervy, aren't you? You're very nervy. That's okay. You're happy enough. You're not nervy, are you? I've got a nervous bone in your body. But yeah, what an evening. Just fed the big lad who was in there somewhere. Oh, he's a good boy, Flacky. Oh, he is. He's not in his kennel, so I'm about to clean it out. It's an absolute shit tip. Because Flack, in a box, Flack is the cleanest dog in the world. So, you know, like if you ever, if he ever gets the runs or something, he's in his, in his box in the van, he sits right up at the edge and he won't touch it. He won't go near it. He comes out cleaner almost every time. In his kennel, he's absolutely disgusting. He's the most grim animal you've ever met. He shits on the floor, runs around in it. He's just a nightmare. But I love him. I love him for who he is. I love him for most of who he is. He annoys me at times. That's my nice dogs, isn't it? So, wheelbarrow. Let's clean this kennel up. Right, that is the end of the day. Bill Flax water up for him. A bit loud, I appreciate that. What an evening, though. What a beautiful evening. That's the sun. Gorgeous evening. Shut the gate to the arena. Like so. Don't use this enough. I need to use this more. Um, I need to get a lot of sand dipped into it. Um, because basically when you put carpet fibre alone down, it slips within itself. Um, so as the dogs run around, it moves. Um, whereas with sand in it, it wouldn't do that. Which is beautiful. Which is just what I want. Also, a lot of you won't have seen this area of my facility. It's just sort of the dumping ground area. My kennels are obviously in the corner, the paddock's there, but we don't we don't use it for anything, we use it use it for the stuff that we don't want out and about in daily life, you know like I don't know uh, fences and bits of stuff that needs to be lying around. Because ultimately when you've got a place like this, there's some stuff that you need to own that you don't want out and about. Most people would put it in their garage. But obviously I'm now converting that into a studio and prior to that I had my car in it. And I'd rather look after my car than some panels. Right, Flacker, you want to get in your nice kennel? That's 
flat bar in. Let him chill for the evening. Bastard, where's the key? Who knows? Who knows? <sighs> yeah, we'll let him chill for the evening. Uh, I'll get him out later on, depending on how much it cools down. If it's not forecast to be mega sunny tomorrow, I'll probably bring him in the house tonight. But if it is forecast to be hot again tomorrow, then young man will be spending the night in his nice cool kennel where he prefers to be. Hi, boy. Hello, William. Yeah, so it's, it's always just a case of see what's going on, see how the dog feels, see how life is, see what the weather's like. Uh, and this is why I have such flexible living for my dogs. And it's going to be even better when the studio's done because currently they can either sleep in the house, they can sleep in a van, or they can sleep in a kennel. And I leave that completely up to them, pardon me. Burping. Flak bar! Barking at something. Um, I leave that completely up to them. When the studio's done, they'll be able to sleep in the house, in the van, in a kennel, or in the studio. So we'll have another option. But I literally just leave it up to them. Where, wherever they take themselves off to is where they go. Um, I would probably say nine times out of ten, uh, Khaleesi likes to be in the house and probably seven times out of ten Flock likes to be in the kennel. But I'll always have it that way with all my dogs. Wherever they want to go, they can go. I'm not I'm not precious about where they sleep. Makes no difference to my training. Makes no difference to me as long as they're happy. I don't care. So yeah, end of the day. I'm going to uh, reply to emails because I haven't done them for a couple of hours. So then I'm going to do it again. And then jump on with the academy guys for the night. See if they need any help. If you haven't already gone and joined the academy, link is pinned in the comments. Oh no, link's not pinned in the comments. Link just is in the description box. <sighs> what a day. Tired. Very tired. self love will go down in the garage tomorrow all being well. We'll see how that goes. Question of the day, I haven't done it. What's your favourite little thing in life? Uh, like earlier I said, like just being out, out in my facility with the horses, with the dog. Or dogs, ideally. Nice sunset, warm weather. That just makes me happy.